One of the most important parts about uh, building anything from scratch, whether it's building Team Win Recovery Project or whether it's building a device tree or whatnot, um, when you're working on a device, you need to get some information from that device. Now, of course, we already looked at uh, looking up information online, looking up information, uh, you know, um, for similar phones, and uh, that is very, very important and very useful, but a very easily overlooked portion of the work can be getting information from the device itself. And uh, so I just want to talk about a really handy tool, uh, Device Info HW. I didn't make this app, and uh, but it's just a great app, and uh, we'll take a look at it here and who made it in just a minute. But uh, as we look at this Blue Life XL, you know, we talked about there's two different models out there that are, well, not models. They're the same model name. <clears throat> but they are different model numbers, and uh, even though they come in the same physical package, they're not the same phone. So we looked at how there was a MediaTek version and a Qualcomm version, and so the easiest way to figure out which version you have is, of course, just look at the phone itself. So here I uh, took a screen recording where I opened up the device info, and uh, just as we go through here, we can see the a lot of information that's displayed on here and I made this recording not specifically to show you but for myself later I can go back and look up these different things um, for instance uh, we see the system on a chip Snapdragon 410 so we know this is the Qualcomm variation uh, and so you know using a tool like this you can easily tell that oh GPU is Adreno 306 all that information that we really really want to know right here in one place, which is very useful. Uh, the system, you know, the density, 320 uh, XH DPI, uh, 5.1.1 uh, blue phone, um, you know, lots of information here that's very useful when we're building our device tree. So good information to have, good things to look at. And again, I made this recording so I could go back and look over this while I'm working on the phone. There's also a 2 gig and a 1 gig RAM version of this phone, and this is a 1 gig RAM version, so we can see that right there. Here's an important one is the camera, the model number that's used specifically for the front and also for the back, so we know uh, what specific uh, model is being used for the front and back camera, and that way we can, um, you know, make sure that we put in the right uh, information to get that to come up hopefully when we uh, start working on the camera portion of the ROM. And of course you know there's information uh, throughout here uh, about what's supported so this is pretty useful thing to have. Uh, we also have here um, you know the battery information not a lot that you'll probably use there but again this is just a really useful tool to have, I highly recommend it. You know, we have our, our thermals here so we can see what the phone's normally running at. Uh, sensors, um, you know, you can go through and actually test the different parts of the sensor. Uh, what applications are on there, what drivers are being used to uh, make everything work. Pretty handy uh, list to have here. Uh, and even um, partition information driver list is kind of long and boring so we'll just skip over that but very useful for me later uh, you know what uh, the starting position and the uh, size of each partition is um, which can be very very useful information as well uh, we also have the input you know where we see the light proximity sensors um, GPIO keys and we know what the handler is and what input number it is which can be very very useful if you're uh, making something like uh, you know putting uh, Debian or uh, you know Linux on the phone instead of actually making Android so lots of really good uh, information that you can see here um, <coughs> Also, uh, knowing that I was going to show you this video, I looked at the about for this phone, and the author is Andre Efremov, a.k.a. Andre 7E, and super, super handy uh, program to download, Device Info HW. You can get it off the Play Store. It's free, and it has no advertisements in it, which is phenomenal uh, in today's day and age. So definitely uh, 
definitely a very useful tool I recommend. If you're going to be uh, working on a phone, building something from scratch, you go ahead and make a similar video just like I did. Just open up Screen Recorder, start recording, go through each tab and scroll up and down slowly so you can actually read the information. And this is really handy for later. You can go back and look at it and say, oh, what was that camera model again? Okay, let's go go to that part of the video where we're like, oh, there's the camera. Okay, it was an OV13850 uh, L5261. Okay, great. So now I know to work on, on that particular type. Or, oh, that system on a chip, uh, you know, what uh, GPU do we have again? Oh, yeah, the Adreno 306. So lots of uh, useful, useful information, and this is a handy way to get that information.